we fly to Uganda today. Let's try and remain positive. Obviously, it's just a very emotional day. I'm so ill. Uganda today. I have purposely not put eye makeup on because I'm absolutely certain I'm going to cry at some point but oh my goodness overwhelmed. So um, I was up till two in the morning because I had like online stuff to do and then I set my alarm for six because I had so much still to do here and I slept through my alarm till eight and now it's 8.50. We have to leave just after 10. Trying to remain calm. So much to do and also what I was trying to do is back up all my hard drive so I've got, you know, all my footage, like, for the last several years, all on a hard drive. And I want to take it out to Uganda because I use it often. But I want to back it up because if anything happens to it, I've lost all my footage. Um, so I set for half it because I've got my hard drive too big so I've got two little ones to put it on. I set it to do half of it last night. It said 12 hours. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have to try and do it overnight and hope for the best. And my computer turned off. So that's not done. Anyway, right. Then, so last night, Molly and Uncle Adam came round and we had a little mini Christmas meal and then they said goodbye to Adam and me. nightmare with the airline because so weeks ago I selected our meal preferences because obviously Adam and I are vegan and I selected our seats obviously Adam likes a window seat you know kids do they like to be able to see outside um and then there was a change on our like currently booked return flight because I had to book a return flight and it's in April um which can be changed to see what we're ha what's happening, what we're doing. Um, there was a change by I think 15 or 25 minutes, right? I got no email to notify me. When I went to check in, it didn't tell me. It just so happens I clicked on manage your booking and went to like look at things. That it then came up and said there has been a change. This was just yesterday. There has been a change. Um, acknowledge it, um, but all your selections will have been removed. Um, so our seats were removed and our meals were, were removed. Um, and I got no email to let me know this was going to happen, so I had no idea. And it's too late now to select your meal preferences. Um, and I've been on online chat with the Qatar and they're being extremely unhelpful. How is Adam going to go for like a 10 hour flight or whatever it is without eating? Um, and then all the seats are gone. And they're not at the moment offering any alternatives or any solutions or anything. They're just being like, we can't do anything. It's too late. And I just think it's completely unacceptable and I'm just really upset about it. So I'm going to speak to them at the airport. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do if, like, yeah. So our seats are not great. Luckily we're still together. But our seats aren't great. They're not what we chose weeks ago. And we currently have no food. So that's great. Anyway. Positives, 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 positives. Let's try and remain positive. Obviously it's just a very emotional day. Um... I am all packed, but I've got to sort our hand luggage out. Obviously, some bits like toiletries I've been using this morning. Got to get Adam dressed, do a final weigh of the bags, try and get the hard drive sorted. I was supposed to kind of tidy up the bedroom, so I haven't had time to do that. Um, sorted documents. I think that's it. I can't believe the day is here. It is. You know, I've been dying desperately to see them all um and it feels like it's been so long and then like the second you book the flight it like whizzes by and i've had so much to do and not had the time to do it but anyway tomorrow tomorrow i'll have my babies in my arms 
Already getting emotional. Adam's already looking really smart. This new Christmas jumper we got for Christmas. Mm -hmm. at our hotel, complimentary hotel for the night. But oh my goodness. I don't know if you can tell if I'm quite red, but I'm so hot, I'm so ill. I like, I think I was getting a little bit ill before the flight and flights always make me ill. So I'm really, really struggling. Not ideal, making me feel very emotional because I just don't want to be ill. But we're gonna get some sleep. I think we only get like five hours, but it's something at least. This one didn't sleep on the plane at all. But also our flight was delayed leaving, so we were supposed to have a longer layover than this. It is what it is. I'm just gonna get to bed now. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. This is the worst lighting in the history of time, but I look so bad anyway, I don't feel like it makes a difference. But um it's what time is it? Mm. Twenty past seven, Qatar time, we've got to leave here at eight. I just had a shower. You know when like, I never have an issue sleeping, but you know when you really, really need to sleep? Like, I really struggled to sleep last night. I was so cold, honestly, not feeling well at all. Like, I even turned the aircon up to 32, and then Adam went into bed with me so that we could put both duvets on top, because I was just so cold. Um, because it's not ideal. It really isn't. Anyway, I'm hoping to um, find some painkillers before the next flight, because, yeah, Adam's still sleeping. I'll get him up in, like, 10-ish minutes. Um, I'm going to try and make myself look a bit more presentable. I wanted to look nice arriving in Uganda. Um, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> What's been good though is I've been able to get hold of Josh and speak to Josh and my family back home and everything so... Yes. Just wish I could sleep for another 24 hours. <laughs> Why is it so did? did? Mm. We are up, we are ready, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Adam's being super helpful because mummy's not feeling very well. He's been like carrying chairs around for me to sit on and things, haven't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. and you actually finally slept a little bit. But we're actually going to end this video here because now we're heading back down into the airport to get our next flight to Uganda, aren't we? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about everything now? Best. The best. Day best day ever. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a downer at the end of this with me being so poorly. I have to admit, it's like, do you know how long I've been waiting to reunite with my family? And now I'm going to be feeling like this when I do it. But anyway, still, I'm looking forward to it. But I think I'm going to end up sleeping like the whole car journey home and things. But anyway, we will see you in the next video, which will be our reunion. So we can't wait to see you then. Mm -hmm. Please give this video a big thumbs up. We'll see you next time. <laughs>